Hi and welcome to this new video on the basics of robotic theory. So in this video we're going to talk about Kalman filters, why do we need them and what are they exactly? So in this video I'm going to give you some insights of why would you need a Kalman filter and we're going to talk about Bayesians because they are one of the most important elements on Kalman filters um, and I'm going to show you as always with an example of our uh, beloved robots butter robot so let's get started so why do we need Kalman filters so let me show you um, here we have our robot and I've installed here a sensor that what it does is sense if there is an object on top or not and this is a very basic example but it's very common to use this example scenario in uh, in Kalman filters so we have this robot and we have a sensor and sensors have Sensors have always some noise, some kind of noise. Sometimes it's really high and sometimes it's really low. It depends on the quality of the sensor and also in the environment. Robots in environments like radioactive environments will have a lot of noise and therefore your algorithms have to cope with this. So um, Kalman filters allow you to um, lower all that noise, remove all that noise and know what is happening in that sensor. Is it sensing? It, is there something on top of this robot or isn't? So the basis of Kalman filters are Bayesian filters which uh, essentially Kalman filters is a subgroup of them. Uh, and we're going to implement here right now a, uh, one of them to allow the robot to know where he is in this scenario. So the robot is going to move forwards only, forwards or backwards. And it has to know based on the readings of this sensor, where is, where is he? So is is he in line 0, line 1, line 2, line 3, line 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So depending on where he is, he will have readings or not. And based on this asymmetry, uh, at the end he will learn, he will learn in, in some way where he is. So let me let me just show you a bit the code. So Bayesians basically are made of two things. They are made of a prediction state and a correct state. So let me show you here. So this is where we update the sensor and we make the calculations based on the sensor, okay? And here we correct it. We make a belief based on the sensor. So is, am I reading uh, this? Am I seeing this, uh, this light here or not? And based on that, we can say that if I have a reading, if it's detecting something, I have to be here, here or here. If I'm not, then I have to be here, 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 and all this section, and here. So based on that, we know if it's in one of these three places or, or not, based on the sensor, okay? Then there's the movement phase. So we make a prediction. And that's where we do this. Let me just the predict step and here what we do is cross the the beliefs 
with this movement of the robot. So let's have a look how this is working. So I, I've created, whoops, sorry. There we go. So I've, I'm going to now launch the Bayesian pose estimate. And if you see here, we have the initial belief. So the initial belief is that the robot is in section two, in grid two, which is totally random. So I just put that one there. Obviously, he isn't there. But his first belief is as good as anyone. So we could put this everything with the same probabilities. But I've stated just that, that it has 100% of probabilities that he is in number two. And based on the experience, he will lower that and adapt it with this filter so that at the end he knows in reality where he is based on the movements that he, he's done and the readings, the previous readings that he's done. Uh, for that, we go here and uh, this system uh, has two services and we will call these two services that are for the movement phase and for the sensor uh, calculation phase. And through this feedback, reading the sensors and moving, reading the sensors and moving, we will be able to improve our predictions. So let me just run this. There we go. So now he's making the predictions. And as you can see, now we don't have zero here anymore. Now a bit more, he makes the reading again. And he says, oh, I think I'm here, but maybe I'm around there. I'm not sure. Then again, and because now he doesn't have any readings, it starts to don't know where he is exactly again and you can see that it's becoming to stabilize it's starting to stabilize now he doesn't know i'm here or i'm here okay maybe he thinks that he's in number two which he isn't then again well then he got this probability quite right now we are resetting so now we're going back again to zero and starting again and he will do this again and again and again until we are happy with the results. You see now he makes the reading. Again, movement and reading, movement and reading. As you can see in the first loop, he's getting it right already. Now, number three. And it has like 100% of probabilities. Now, 80% of being in number four, 60% along the line, because we are moving, the probabilities go lower because he doesn't have any new sensor data. Now, you see, he got sensor data, so wow, he's in seven. He knows that he's there. And he says, okay, probably I'll be here. And now in eight, and now in nine, and now again, and that's Bayesian filters. So, as you can see, it's very, very simple. In theory, it's very simple, but it's the basis to learn loads of stuff. Uh, I've learned this, I mean, I didn't know how to implement this in ROS, and I, I did this course, uh, which you can learn most a lot of things, not only this. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Um, and so you're going to learn this. So base filter, then Kalman filters, EKF and UKF, which are discrete ways of doing that. And then you'll have a project. So you'll have lots of things to learn and it's really nice. and. 
I, I really learned a lot with this. And I got it working. So with a, a robot totally different from the, the course, by the way. So um, uh, I can guarantee that it, it works. So that I think that's all for today. Thanks a lot for being here. Check out the, the, the course, it's really nice. And see you in the next video. Peace.